Boy mateys, today I embark across a challenge that will make me feel like a true pirate. I spent 1,400 doubloons on different rums ranging from Bacardi to more expensive Bacardi. I'm gonna be sipping and rating every single one of these rums and rating them from S to F tier. S being swashbuckling and F being fire the cannons. And we're gonna answer the age old question, can I handle my rum like a true buccaneer? If you don't see one of your favorite rums here, it's probably because you've been living on a deserted island with coconuts and sand. Or, it's probably because I didn't pick any of the light rums, or just there's a lot of rums and I just, there's a lot to drink. Okay? Cut me some slack for once. So as hoist the anchors, set our sails to mast, and let's get on the ultimate rum tier list. Yo ho ho and a bottles of rum. Let's start things off familiar. Let's go with Bacardi Gold, baby. Sniff test. Ooh, actually it smells like nail polish remover and rum. It's not looking too good for Bacardi Gold. Uh, I've used Bacardi Gold a lot in my uh, rum videos, so that's, you know, something that you can look forward to. I don't, I, like, I like rum, so this is gonna be good. Let's just, let's start it off simple with a sip. It's time for a shot. Hey! You know, a lot of you were afraid for me after the beer tier list. You were like, wow, this guy's gonna have a problem. We're fine. Diboja! Oh, woody, very woody, spicy in a way, but also not like as strong as I think it should have been. Hmm. I think this is what rum is like. I've only really ever bought one kind of rum before and it's been Bacardi or or Captain Morgan's. Um, you know what? Put, put Bacardi on the C tier. I think that's where it belongs. There's nothing too special about it. It's your like mid tier rum that you want to go buy when you're like in high school, when you're out of high school and you want, when you're an adult, when you're, yeah, not too, not too shabby. Now you've heard of Bacardi, but have you heard of Bacardi? That's an expensive Bacardi. What the heck is that? Ugh! It's today's sponsor. Magic Spoon. Last time I ate cereal, it was 2007 and the B movie was in theaters. Believe it or not, only one of those things got better since I was a kid. And it wasn't the B movie. Magic Spoon is a high quality cereal that has all the same great taste of childhood adapted for a low carb adult lifestyle. With 13 to 14 grams of protein and zero grams of sugar, it's mathematically 102% tasty. Magic Spoon is cereal reinvented, being grain free, soy free, gluten free, and even keto friendly, all while keeping all the great taste of childhood. It takes science. Cereal science. So go ahead and grab the variety pack to find out your absolute favorite. You got cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. And you need to try fruity. Fruity is my favorite. It's my editor's favorite. It's probably my grandma's favorite. So click the link in the description below or scan the QR code that's on screen right now and use code DOKORYAN for five bucks off. Or go to magicspoon.com slash DOKORYAN to save five buckaroos today. Uh, this is like a hundred dollar bottle of Bacardi. Bacardi Limitada. Is it better than Bacardi Gold? Let's hope so. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I don't know. This is gonna be a great day. Oh my God. You can kind of see like the glass is embossed. That's how you know they care. God dang. All right, let's pop this top, baby. I love cork pops. Sniff test. Whoa. Vanilla. Vanilla? Vanilla, chocolate, and wood. Oh my god. Wow. This is like, this is one of the best smelling things I think I've ever smelled in my life. Oh. <laughs> no, okay, let's go. Time for a shot. Please be incredibly dark. Diboja. F here. I have goosebumps. You probably can't see them because they're microscopic, but wow. Um, very, very woody. Very woody. 
you're getting hit with so much like a chocolate spice of some sort. Getting like a, you, does it get cinnamon? There's vanilla. This is well balanced. I love this. I love this. If I had a ring to marry this, I would marry this. Wow. Is it legal to marry inanimate objects? It's, in some states, it is. Brittany, you want to try this? Okay. Do you want to try it by itself? Yeah. Good. Are you okay taking it out of my shot glass? Uh, nice, I guess. Alright, I'll let you pour it. Let's see, okay. let's see your pouring skills. Wait, Brady. This is my friend Brady. We've met. Diboja! Smooth! Smoother than most butters. Well... Am I sweating a lot? Yes. Yeah! If I have to change this shirt by the end of the video, that's how you know it was a good video. Hey, he's got the squeaky toy! You let him have the toy! He's gonna be loud! How is that my fault? Oh, I don't know you. Come here, Blaze, you big dink. It looks like the better version of things sometimes is the better version of things. Let's move on! Oh my god, we have so many options here. Okay, it's been irking my mind. Look at this bottle! Come on! It's in a little tiny barrel! This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life! Oh my god, Brady, you let him have the toy again! Just put the toy somewhere! I did, he took it. You put it on the ground. At least go downstairs with it. Oh my god, this is the cutest little thing! Look. Brady, Brady uh, take the you... take the toy. Please f off. I'll put it somewhere high. You're high. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> I like how he's like, oh, I got it. <laughs> squeak, squeak. <laughs> wow. That's what a barrel sounds like. The uh, Premium Panama Admiral's Cask Rum. It's been aged for five years. A lot of these rums are either aged, spiced, or dark. So there's no light rums. I think I've already said that. It's real barrel. All right, let's pop this puppy open. Sniff test. Oh my God, this is so fruity. This is a fruit. Wow, wow, smell that. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This, this smells like, like, uh, like a floral water. Oh my god. Okay, I, I I I need to drink this now. It's time for a shot. Uh, design flaw. This is gonna be very difficult to pour in. Oh my god. Diboja. Whoa. Whoa, 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 This is very good. I don't know why I want to put this on the S tier. I'm not being, I'm not being swayed by the bottle. I swear to God, this is so much more different than the Bacardi. This is like the coolest looking bottle. Like this is going to be on my shelf for years. Let's move on to something that everybody knows. We're going with Appleton Estate. I could not find the original Appleton Estate. I could only find Signature. So, um, um. Wait, do most Appleton Estates have pop tops? I don't know. I'm gonna tell you something. The rum, the rum's kicking in. Um. Remember how I was saying that I'm a completely different kind of drinker when I drink different types of liquors? So uh, the beer made me a little bit more like wacky crazy, I'm a funny guy. Uh, vodka made me very like, ah! <laughs> uh, gin made me, I feel very suave uh, in nature. Uh, I wonder what rum will do to me. Keeping in track, uh, we have this beautiful drunko meter. Uh, which is updated with the brand new uh, SFX that uh, editor Dylan is going to have to put in or else he is fired. So if you see it, it's very cool looking. You can kind of see like the All right, sniff test. Definitely smelling apricot. Fruity, very fruity. It, honestly, I think it smells more like the cask of a Montedalo. Remember that? Remember that uh, Edgar Allan Poe where he gets uh, encased in the, uh, the brick wall and he's like, let me out, let me out. Don't go to bed in the brick wall, you piece of shit. Time for a shot. 
Oh, out of the bottle, out of the bottle, wow. Oh, wow. Oh my, caramel. That is so, car that's the molasses they're talking about. Oh my God. Diboja. Listen, <laughs> we should talk real quick. Cause I really, I look, I, I wanna, I really, really wanna put it on the S tier. I'll put it on the A, put it on the A, take it back. It's very yum yum. It's very yummy. This is so caramelly, so caramelly. The molasses, it, it tastes like an oatmeal that your grandma makes when she's not dead. It's so good. Oh my God. Appleton Estate signature. Uh, uh, br 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 I'm writing my signature stamp of approval, but it's on the A tier. Cause I, I don't, I like listen. I already know, cause I like rum. Rums are all gonna be S tiers. Um, minus the Bacardi at the beginning, that was a C tier. But listen, very good. I would, oh my God. I think I wanna put it on the S tier, dude. Put it on the S tier, ring that bell. Ring that bell, put it on the S tier. By the way, did you know that only like 6% of you are subscribed right now? That number should be astronomically higher by at least 2%. Um, if you don't want me to, if you want me to keep making great videos like this uh, with more drinkies and more thinkies, uh, smash that button, hit that subscribe button, and you might wanna hit that join members button because you're gonna be getting some behind the scenes videos. You're also gonna be able to see uh, some polls and some ideas uh, and some photos that you're not gonna see anywhere else. They're only gonna be for the members. Um, we actually, right now, we're gonna thank these members for being Bone Apple Teeth members. Thank you so much. I love each and every one of you. God, if I could hug each and one of each and one, every single one of you, I would. Especially this person. Good job, this person. Join the members, uh, hit the button, and uh, we're gonna leave the S tier. I am dripping cowboy tears. All right, we're gonna go to something completely left field. You did not see this one coming. It's completely random. Uh, Appleton Estate. But the difference is this Appleton Estate is 15 years old. It can barely drive. It shouldn't drive. I know I shouldn't drive and I won't. <laughs> Black River Casks, 43%, signed by Joy Spence. Now, Brady, I know you really want this one. A little bit. I am so ready for the sniff test right now, Buccaneers. Oh, oh! Check this out, no looker. Time for a shot. That's the Doka Ryan promise. Diboja. Okay, okay. I know you're here for ratings. I know you're here for some discrepancies. I know you're here for me to be like, oh, Ryan, his word is law. And it is. Uh, this belongs on the S tier. And I know there's a lot up there right now. And I know that you've cut to the part where there's like, no me, all of them are S tier so far. Look, I don't know. I don't, I can't, I don't, I, I wake up and I think to myself, man, we're gonna have a great show tonight. I, in a million trillion years, could never have imagined that we would have so many back to back asses, man. Brady, get over here. Come on. Whoa, hold on, I'm passing out. I can't be doing this. Is this not great? Appleton Estate. That's not an answer. This alcohol can't even drink yet, Ryan. It's breaking the law just by existing. This should be locked up. Put it back in the barrel. It's not ready yet. <laughs> you gotta answer me seriously. Just like put a little hand in there. No, sweaty, my dude. It's like a cold sweat. I think I might have COVID. <laughs> You're gonna get it. Yeah. I love everything. You know what? Rum makes me happy. I am beaming ear to ear. Baron Sandy. Uh, this, I have actually seen a lot when I go to buy liquor, uh, but I've never ever tasted it. So this is gonna be pretty interesting. What is that? 
kick. It looks like a little wood tick. Sniff test. Ooh. You can definitely smell clove. Uh, it smells like a, it, it, it smells like the Appleton Estates like molasses. Clove stands out though. Wow. This is dark like fire. All right, it's not a full shot, so we're gonna be just safe, right? All right. It looks darker in the bottle, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I think that's because of like mass times dead boja. This is incredible. You get, <clears throat> it starts off with like that clove, like that kind of like that breath of clove. <clears throat> and then it goes so deep into a finish of chocolate. It melts on the tongue. It goes to the back of the throat. It goes right down into the esophagus. You're breathing. Uh, Baron Samdi, honestly, one of my favorites. I, I think it's because it hits you with like a, a little bit of earthiness. I'm gonna put Baron Samdi on the A because I, I just, I, I definitely would buy this. Like I'm so mad that my entire lifetime I've just gone by poor with no money, not buying this product. Uh, this is great though, A tier. Wow, would be a ridiculous vanilla Coke and rum. So dang good. Like not just a regular Coke, it has to be vanilla Coke. I haven't shit on anybody yet. You know what time it is? It's time for the cleansing of the glasses, baby. This is the Florida can of 12 year. This is something that I did not remember buying. <laughs> if I had it my way, I would have probably bought Havana Club instead of buying this one. Saw this video, uh, this <laughs> drink. Wow, that came off in one piece. What is? What are we? What are we? What are we? What are we doing? Having fun? This was a pretty expensive one. It wasn't the most expensive, but it was definitely expensive. Sniff test. Oh, oh. Um. Oh my God. Okay, very caramelly. Uh, I gotta look at these notes. Nicaragua. <laughs> this aged product uh, contains ingredients. Uh, smells very caramelly and woody, which is what you kind of want in one of these things. Time for a shot. This is what the rich people drink. Oh, okay. Diboja. Up and out. Wow. But smooth on the ending. Uh, put it up to like the B tier. It's really good, but it just, it doesn't have enough of an oomph. It doesn't smash you in the face with caramel. It doesn't like hit you in the mouth with that wood flavor. For the amount of money that you spend on something like this, I would probably go with the Appleton Estate Signature. It's very similar in taste, but this one tastes a little bit less. It's still good, but the B stands for better luck next time. The only way to one up Florida Canna is if we do the most expensive Florida Canna. This is the Florida Canna 25. This is insane. You know it's crazy because look at this. You pull it open. Oh my God. This is encased in a box that is matte to the touch. Uh, this is a 25 year aged rum. Oh, <laughs> it has a velvet, velvet interior. An amazing pull uh, thing, pull ribbon, we'll call it. This is so expensive. If this video doesn't get at least 10 likes, I might have to think of a different thing to do in my life. All right, let's go. Stuff, man, I'm so pumped. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to sniff it, but I will. Please be worth the money. Sniff test. That is like the Florida Canna that we just tried. <laughs> There's no difference. Oh my god. Okay. Um, we have to do a full shot of this. I know. Ryan, what about your health? Time for a shot. Oh my god. Diboja. Put it at the A tier. So there's a lot of things happening on my palate right now. There's a lot of that caramel flavor coming right through. It's a lot harsher than most of the other ones. There's no smoothness at the end. You get so 
much caramel. You get so much like woodsiness. There's no vanilla. It's just straight caramel and wood. If that's what you like, this is probably an S tier. But wow, still wows me. I'm never buying this again. For the first time in Doka Ryan tier list history, I know we've only been doing this for like two months, but this is so important to me. Baron, the Baron Samdi. I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't be able to sleep if I couldn't change where this belongs. This has to go in the S tier. Dylan, bump it up, bump it up. That belongs in the S tier. This is so good. This is so chocolatey. It is so caramelly. I would drink this. So far, this is my second number one. So number two. This is my number two. In ancient times, there used to be something in the sea, something you could not see, but something you could definitely see. Well, what burrows in the water is only hotter in the sun. Of course, we speak of the one, the only, Kraken. I remind me never to move more than I have to. That was a lot. Schnifter test. Wow, what is in this garbage? Um, what is, what, what does the man speak? It's time for a shot. We're only gonna do half shots. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, if we could upgrade where we're at right now on the brand new revised V2 Dokorayan Drunko meter, you wouldn't believe it. Can it get higher? Diboja. Ooh. Oh, Kraken is so good. There has to be a chocolate, and there has to be a vanilla to it. Absolutely. There's so much, like, I feel like there's so much, like, chocolate at the end that it doesn't make sense that it's even, like, an alcohol. It's so dang good. The, 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 the ending is sweet, which you don't get a lot with, like, the rums that I've had so far. The, a lot of them just end off with, like, vanilla and wood. That caramel is in the middle, tastes really good. It's sweet in the middle, but it's not sweet at the end. This is sweet at the end. This gives you that, th this gives you an inviting like, mm, oh, another? Don't mind if I do. Very good. Put Kraken on the A-list. I think it definitely belongs there. There's a lot of octopi in the ocean. And hey, Kraken, is it a squid or an octopus? Let's go ahead and do something I've never, I've never in my life seen. This is a rum from Heart and Son. Uh, it's an original 1804 uh, rum, always. Distilled Asian blended in Goyona under government supervision. Government rum? <laughs> Sniff test. Holy mother of God. I've done Werther's in rum before. This is more caramel smelling than Werther's in rum. Smells like candy. All I smell is candy, like Werther's original uh, caramel. Oh my God. I, I want to get right into this. Fucking let's go. Time for a shot. I don't care. Let's go. All right. Holy f <laughs> Diboja. Oh, wow. This does not taste anything like the other ones. Heart and Son, Heart and Son. I know you're not gonna wanna hear this. It has to go in the S tier. It has to. It, it, it has to. It is, the, the caramel is so, so overpowering. It's caramel from the beginning. Okay, you know those uh, quality street chocolates you get only at Christmas time in like the tin? It is like when you take the golden long sticks of quality street and you put it in your mouth and you're like, you're chewing on it, you're doing your work, you're like, Man, I'm not gonna eat the rest of these chocolates. I'm gonna throw them all out. Unless you have kids. And you swallow and you're like, oh, it's caramel and chocolate all the way through and through. That is heart and sun. This is so good. Put me on the record. Heart and sun, heart and sun so far is my favorite rum of the entire thing so far. This is my favorite. Put it in the S tier. Heart and Sun beats everything. It beats my favorite gin of all time. It beats my favorite beer. This is like, what are the outliers? How much, how much was this? Heart and Sun, Heart and Sun, Heart and Sun, Heart and Sun. Lemon Heart? Why would it be called Lemon Heart? Heart and Sun was $26.99. Butter rum? I would like a butter rum.
what you're tasting right now is what that tastes like. Can I have another lightsaber? Next up, we got Seamos. Spiced rum by Simos. Um, so, uh, Captain Morgan's. Nail polish remover. Show me to wait. Vanilla, you're getting spices, you're getting a little bit of wood. That, that's pretty much what makes up rum, I'm figuring out. But it, th there's something about like coriander? I don't know. It's a lot of acetone in this one. La so fun fact, last time I ever had anything CMOS was, B no, it was Bacardi, 151. Well, I can't make the joke anymore. It's time for a shot. I wanna be like this guy. I'm not gonna lie to you, I tried really hard. <laughs> All right, Diabosia. D tier, D tier. It's not like, oh. CMOS brings you back to high school times. It's not very good. D tier, I think it could be a lot better. Where's that lid? Oh no. You know, we went from CMOS, it's only a matter of time until we went to, you better believe it. It's CMOS, man! Oh my god, it's not even just CMOS, it's... Jeez, I'm sorry. <laughs> Captain Morgan Deluxe, a rum France, 40% dark rum. This is what CMOS is supposed to be, probably. I've never had it before, but we are ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about CMOS Deluxe, but I can tell you three things. Caramel, wood, vanilla. Sniff test. Ooh, oh, 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 wow. What is in this? Doesn't tell you. <laughs> You're getting a lot of, again, I love caramel and I absolutely love wood. It's time for a shot. Did I mess around? I don't think so. I, you know what it is? A, a rum inebriation makes me want to do things that I don't think is possible. This is the darkest rum thus far. This is so dark. Dibolgia. It gives a lot of chocolate, but I gotta say, it belongs in the B tier. It's not something that I would give high regards to. I'm feeling rich with excitement. Let's go with something in a box. We got Plantation Rum. This is the second most expensive on the list. The absolute greenness that's coming out of this box. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God. I'll be honest with you, I don't even know how to open this. It's semi expensive, but I'm ready to smell the joys that comes with plantation. Ooh, oh, you know what? I'm getting a little bit of dirty sock, like a sock that's been left out a little bit too long in the rain, a little wet sock mixed with caramel. Let's go ahead. Plantation caramel. Time for a shot. Oh my God. Dibosia. Whoa, that goes like right from here. It doesn't hit, it doesn't quite hit the, the lungs, doesn't quite hit the heart. It goes right in the sternum, back out. Like when you're having like wasabi in a very nice sushi restaurant. Wow, that burn is great. The end note is very much caramel. I, I gotta put this one A tier, A tier. It's not blowing my brains out. It's not being like shotgun in my mouth, over the walls. <gasps> what? Oh, what happened? It's just, it's very strong. Really hits the schnifter very hard uh, with a lot of like, kind of like a, you were to do a flame, like, like a fireplace flame. It's kind of like a fire charcoal flavor. 
It's not bad, but it's not for me. Let's go to something that I had no idea what the price was because they did not have the price on deck. This is Santa Teresa. Santa, the city is covered in snow tonight. Where did my love go? San I guess I should pop this off. Oh. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> so sorry. That's great. Wee little wiener vein coming up there. Do you think I have to like rip it from the tip? Not good. How do you? We're gonna need the scissors that section off as dual wielding stabbing knives. <laughs> this is very dangerous. I don't recommend anybody do it the way I'm doing it. Oh, there we go. It's like baby bell cheese skins. Can you imagine if I if I had the if I had the know-how, I bet I could like this into the wall and they'd stick. But I know I know my person who rents this out to me will watch this, so I won't do it. Sniff test. Oh, oh. that smells foul. That smells very peppery. That's like it, like it, if you use the spices in your mother's cabinet to make a, a meal. It's time for a shot. Jiboja. Ooh, very surprising. Oh, I, I like th the pepper comes in very much near the end, but like you're getting a lot of dried fruit. Like you're getting like an apricot. It's very fruity at the beginning. You know what, it, it's fruity It's fruity at the beginning to the mid. So it's not bad. The pepper at the end kind of kills it for me because I'm not a big fan of pepper. It's very spicy. And it really like hits that spice node at the beginning too. But it really follows through at the end which makes you go like, <gasps> Santa Teresa in my mind belongs on the B-list. It's a B-list style of rum. It's not bad, I still think Definitely give it a try because it's very good, but it's just like, am I gonna buy this again? No, because I own it. I know what it tastes like. Santa? You may have been thinking, hey Ryan, where the heck do you get some Doka Ryan official merch? You get that from DokaRyan.com. Oh. Oh, there it goes. DokaRyan.com, you get the bone apple teeth, uh, t-shirt graphic tees. Hey, there's a couple new things coming out that you're not ready for, but you're gonna see them right away. Uh, check them out, get them while they're hot, get them while they're ready, get them while they're actually available, because we're getting rid of the old stuff. We're gonna keep it as fresh as we possibly can. As fresh as caramel, flowers, and wood. We gotta really try to get through these. Do you like to pray? Do you like to think about what your life could be if you believed in a God? Well then you're gonna love today's beautiful video about monk rum. This is old monk rum. It is dark, it is heavy, it is. Dylan, let's do this. Time for a shot. We've reached, we've, we, it's been a while. I'm at the top and there's quite a few more left, but don't fret. Doka Ryan always has water and ibuprofen on hand. Sniff test. Oh, doesn't smell that good. Kind of caramel, but not an overwhelming amount, which is fine. Poor, so slow. <laughs> but a monk has patience. Diboja. Oh, see, 
No, lower, E tier. Oh, that does not taste good at all. That tastes like if you put rubbing alcohol. It's rubbing alcohol, oh, very bad. It's, ru it's rubbing alcohol mixed with a little bit of chocolate. That is the hardest chocolate I've ever, it's like, a hard, it's like chocolate milk that's hard. This is really bad. Do you want this? Take this home, this is yours. Great, thanks. You're welcome. It tastes like sucking off an old monk. Do you like rum? Let's go ahead, Anejo rum. This is what the people are clamoring about. This is exactly what rum is supposed to be according to science and people on the internet. Let's do the sniff test. Ooh, very light. Lighter than most. It, 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 you're getting a lot of caramel. Again, caramel I think is like the number one tone. That's about all I'm getting from this is caramel. But a light caramel. What's in this? Hints of caramel and wood. That's all it has is caramel and wood. Well, this would be a really good test to, is it just two things that make something very good or is it like nine things that make something very good? This has two things. Does that make that very good? Should I undress this? Oh my god, it's a naked unveil. An anejo. Put it back on. Time for an anejo. <sighs> Your breath is like pure alcohol. With these hands, I create. <laughs> Diposia! You know what? That's pretty smooth. It doesn't have a lot of bite to it, which is incredibly not what I expected. I thought this was gonna be like some, one of the one of those really bad, crazy like, <sighs> not like that at all. It's pretty good. Uh, put this on the B tier. Anejo really has like a very good like. It's a decent amount of caramel. <sighs> Dylan, look. What do you want? It's a decent amount of caramel. <laughs> a very mild amount of wood. It's Anejo country, and I'm here. Look, I, I think we need to be, I, I think we need to take a serious moment to talk. After all of these tier lists, I drink a copious amount of water. I eat as much food as my belly can fill. I am as safe as possible. This looks really bad on paper, because it's like, oh, Ryan has had, what, this many shots? <laughs> you like rum? We got rum for you. We got this one that has an X on it. Bamboo. Wow. You know what? Bamboo is really nice because it's from uh, the Caribbean. Dude, I'm skin double. I can't, like, if I were to make eye contact with the camera right now. This is the best I can do. I'm trying to focus. Stupid. Ah! Dylan. Why'd you grab that? <laughs> Shut it. it. You need that. No, I don't need it. I have like seven of them. It came in a pack of seven. <laughs> Took nine hours before we got here. Rumbo. We're at the epitome of rum, man. Sniff test. Wow! 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 That woke you up. <laughs> Holy sh! This smells like the butterscotch. Just we, we like. Diboja. Oh. That one smells so good. Oh my god. You know what? I don't know why I'm holding this. This S here, Bamboo. Bamboo hits hard. Bamboo makes me feel, Bamboo makes me feel alive. Bamboo smells amazing. Put on the S here. You're getting so much, it, it's not just like, it's, it's like a buttery caramel. It's so dang good. This might be my favorite one, but I don't know. I've had a lot, <laughs> but this is top tier Bamboo. <laughs> Bamboo! We have three left, Sailor Jerry's. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is a lot. <laughs> 
It's a lot of rum. I, I thought, hey, I'll buy 15 of these and we'll be done. But then I saw all the Im immaculate amounts. I made a mistake. Let's take a big sniff of the Salo Jerry's. Okay, like white printer paper mixed with vanilla. It's more vanilla than anything that we've had on the entire tier list. It's not bad. It smells very, not, not as spicy as the rest of them, but very vanilla, which could be good. I guess we'll see. Sailor Jerry's. Diboja. Printer paper white. Is this like kind of sad to watch? Bon apple teeth. Ooh. Oh, it belongs in the C tier. I'll tell you why. It hits incredibly spicy. There's more spice than vanilla. It's not a very good sipping gin. It's good if you if you were to mix it. It's a good mixing gin. We got lambs and we got bombarda. These are the final two of the entire series of rum. Lambs is the cheaper bombarda, I believe, is the third most expensive of all time rums. Let's go with lambs. That's what we love. Ooh, delightful. It smells like a... Dil Dylan, I'm very drunk, but you're sober. What What is that chocolate from Kinder? Bueno. Bueno. It smells like a Kinder Bueno. Yeah, 100%. 100%. <laughs> So this smells like a Kinder Bueno. So it's like vanilla and chocolate. That's that's like its main nodes. Diboja. Kinder Bueno. Time for a shot. S tier. Oh my God. So to me, lambs taste like a Kinder Bueno. S tier for lambs. Imagine like a Kinder Bueno, but more robust. A lot more chocolate, a lot more vanilla. That's all it has. But it's just so much vanilla that it just kind of like blows you away. I love a good lambs. I love you so much. The final rum, we saved the best, hopefully for last, Bombarda. Give me one more reason why I should stay Cause you've got two minutes, two minutes to explain You better come up with something smart to say Cause I'm already, already on my way I heard them whisper behind my back I saw them glance in my way I saw the look when his eyes met yours I heard you whisper his name Let's pop this puppy open This is one of the most expensive rums we're gonna see how it holds up uh, near the end of the rum tier list. If you saw me near the end of the vodka, I'm beyond that. We're at a level unknown to man. Pop top. The final sniff test. More wood. More wood than there is vanilla. More wood than there is spice. It just, it smells like an oak cask barrel. Time for a shot. Diboja. Ooh, it's okay. Ooh, it's a lot more like, it, it, it's medium caramel, more vanilla. I think a lot of rum comes to like wood, vanilla, spice, and wood. Put it on the B tier. I'm not gonna buy Bombarda ever again in my lifetime. I think the, the, the real winner of today, Baron Sandy. I don't know what it is about Baron Sandy that I loved so much, but like for, for the amount that you would pay, get this out of here. The amount that you would pay for something that's really good, this is so dang good. The chocolate, the vanilla undertones. I buy this any day out of the week. This is not, this doesn't measure, this doesn't measure up. Thank you so much for coming into the rum video. You're wild for staying this, for staying so long. Um, up here, you're gonna see the uh, video that YouTube chose for you. Uh, down below, you're gonna see a video that I chose for you. <laughs> Let me know which one's better. <laughs>
<laughs> Up here is going to be a video. No, it's going to be my face. Smash that to subscribe. Wow, we've made it this far. Um, next video is going to be a lot easier, I promise.